What up, folks? Um, I'll be the first to admit that the title on this might be a little bit deceptive because in reality, I'm not an incel. Like I mentioned in my previous video, I'm definitely not a Tyrone, but I'm not an incel. I do have glimmers every now and then. Not as frequently as I like, but they do happen. I mean, if, if you look at a gas gauge and E is incel and F is Tyrone, I would probably be somewhere around the one fourth for the one third mark. So in that sense, I don't think I qualify as an incel, but I can relate to a lot of things that incels talk about. As far as being angry about it, eh, I, I, I guess maybe because of my experiences, I just can't see be, being angry about it, but I, I still relate to a lot. Overall, I haven't done a whole lot of long-term dating. I mean, for a number of reasons. I'm thinking about like back in 2005, I was dating a girl in Oakland that I met on the internet and we had a lot in common. We both had lost brothers sort of around, you know, that year. And we kind of talked about that and stuff. And well, it wasn't a bad relationship. The problem was, you know, I had to go up to Oakland every weekend. And the problem was I had to go up to Oakland every weekend. I live in LA. So, I mean, it was like I was flying up there every weekend to kick it with somebody. And basically when she asked me to move there and like leave my job and everything, I'm like, no. So she kicked me to the curb. So that relationship was over. And I've had a series of little relationships like that where, you know, you kick it with somebody for a while and things just don't work out. So, uh, I know when I learn a lot of stuff about incels, a lot of them have never kissed a girl before. Well, I mean, I can say I've been beyond all that, but I'm still not where I'd like to be in relationships. And that could be for so many reasons. Like when I was in high school, I didn't date at all. I just never could hook up with anybody in high school. Now, there were glimmers. In other words, there were girls that took interest in me, but I found that I, over the years, a number of girls that liked me, they were kind of on the street side. And me, I'm not street at all. I'm just, I mean, I mean, some people might regard me as a, a nerd, you know, black nerd, but I don't see myself as a nerd. I just see myself as a basic guy. Yeah, I read books sometimes. Yeah, I used to collect comic books. Yeah, I like being on the computer. I did okay in school, but that doesn't make me a nerd. So, uh, this I remember in high school, there was one girl who had an interest in me. Nice looking girl, but she was street. She hung with a street crowd. And fact, Somebody in her group, either they stabbed another girl and ended up getting locked up or her friend was stabbed and it, there was a fatality. And I just knew that this was not anybody I really wanted to kick with. So I remember one of my cousins, a female cousin, asking me, well, how come you don't like the girl? And I said, I just don't think we clicked. Well, give her a chance. I I know what she's about. We're just not the same type. I mean, she just she's a little more street than I am. Nobody understands that. Well, later on, she said, yeah, you're right. But I know the girl just had more of a street quality that I didn't have. So why would I want to be with somebody that had that street quality? It's just it's not me. I 
didn't really date, if you call it dating. I didn't do a lot in college, but in college, more things started to happen. I'll put it that way. So I did date a little bit in college, but I didn't have any, what I consider steady relationships. Why? I don't know. Um, I do recall one girl that had taken an interest in me and at the time, I was like, I was just so amazed that she liked me and I didn't know what to do about it. And see, that, that something like that would never happen now where I just felt somebody was just totally above me and I would freak out. But like I say, back then, I did. Now I know better. I, I'm still thinking about this, you know, this incel movement. I didn't even know it existed until a couple of weeks ago when I looked up Elliot Roger. And we know what problems he had, and I still don't understand why anybody would consider him like a patron saint of incels, but I can identify with certain problems. I guess, it, it, again, with Elliot Rogers, a friend of mine said the same kind of stuff he said. So that was the reason why I paid attention to him. But I didn't realize there was a whole community of guys that weren't dating and they, you know, they were miserable about it. And it's no telling how many uh, mass shootings or whatever might have been because of that. I did a video the other day that was related to this. And I mean, I get these messages and they're angry messages about women. I, I Again, I don't get that. I understand women can be kind of messed up sometimes, but I, I don't get the anger part of it. And I mean, I look back at my experiences, you know, like, like I said before, I am not a Tyrone. I would love to be, but it's just, it's, it's not there for me. You know, women don't like me enough for me to be regarded as a Tyrone. But there are moments. And see, that's what I thought with all in sales just about. I thought everybody had moments where you just, sometimes you do hook up with some girl. Not saying she's top of the line, but I thought everybody hooked up sometimes with somebody. And, you know, if things don't work out, they don't work out. But you sort of go on to the next one uh, uh you know I, I i won't say go down to the next one but an opportunity will open up at some point i would have thought but i don't know i don't know part of my problem is the colorism in the black community i mean i'm a dark-skinned guy and a lot of women may want a guy that's either light or more brown skin. I'll put it that way. Now, that being said, there there are a number of women that like dark skin guys. That's their preference. I the women I deal with generally have a preference towards dark skin guys. The problem is usually uh, you got to have some kind of status, got to have money. Uh. They can be athletic. A lot of them are thugs. I mean, when I was in high school, the most gorgeous black girl on campus, by far the most gorgeous black girl on campus, ended up hooking up with this gold tooth um, headscarf guy that I just, none of us saw it coming. We thought she would have hooked up with somebody from a, you know, a pro athlete or something like that. But that's who she hooked up with. It was it was a shock to most of us. But uh, boy, I kind of digressed on that one, didn't I? Nonetheless, they say this incel thing. I, I just find it interesting, even though I don't consider myself an incel. I know that I have relationships with incels. I mean, I'm not hooked up to anybody now. I'm just started a phone relationship with a young lady not too long ago because we were at a event and I kind of happened to notice I got a vibe from her, you know, watching me and stuff like that. So 
one one thing led to another. I was able to exchange numbers, and we are talking on the phone. Probably not as much I like, but we are communicating a bit. And I mean, she does call me sometimes. So that's been sort of the story of my life. I do get into little things like that. Now, how if it goes any further? I don't know. I, I really don't know. It might. I mean, from what I saw, it's probably going to go a little further, but it may not go very long, but it just, you know, that's the way it is for me. Um, I still say to guys that are out there that, that are angry and they're wondering why they're not hooking up, you're going to have to do something with your option because I know I would. I mean, I will resort to other options. Um, I, and I said this before, I get more attention from other women than I get with black women. I'm a black guy. You would think that most of my attention would be black guys, but it tends to be other women. I would prefer to be with a black woman, but um, if they're not coming through, I have options. And I just think other guys need to exercise those options. And if they, you know, those options aren't working, you got to see what you are doing wrong. You can say, oh, I'm ugly, but unless you just I downright just figured there's something that you might be able to do. You can change the way you dress, change the, you know, uh, the places you can hang out, uh, change your approach. I notice when I see a lot of videos about incels, I notice they don't seem to talk with humor. And if you're going to talk to a lady, I mean, she got to laugh at something you say, because that was part of the problem with the guy that I used to hang with that complained about women all the time. He never had any humor. I mean, he, he never joked about anything. He never... I just didn't see a moment where I hung with him and we laughed about anything. And I mean, come on, if you're hooking up with, with females, you can't do that. You have to be able to talk, you know, talk in some kind of way that's going to be kind of amusing. I mean, don't you think? I mean, we all like to, you know, kid around about something. I mean, you might talk about the kind of guys that treat them bad and treat them like crap or whatever. But at some point, those guys make those girls laugh when they have their initial conversations. They, they make it amusing in some kind of way. I don't think a lot of these guys who are sitting around mad do that. I mean, it's something you can do. I mean, Maybe you just have to deal with a different ethnicity of woman or whatever. You may have to deal with older women. You've got to change your options. I mean, yeah, everybody wants this hot Stacy or whatever, but everybody's not going to get that. But then again, chances are, if you're sitting around as an incel, you're not a Chad. You're not a Tyrone. So forget about the Stacys. I mean, you're going to have to rethink your options. I know I'm not going to be able to get the hottest woman in town. But then again, I, I've seen where I don't need to deal with mud ducks either. So, I mean, just think in the middle. Now, me, I like nerdy girls never really got to hook up with one but i do like nerdy type girls uh i don't have a problem one of my friends said that and he's african-american he would date a white nerd an asian nerd but he would not date a black nerd even though he considers himself a nerd i don't get that me i don't have problems with nerdy girls it's just that all of them that I've dealt with, they're already hooked up or whatever. So I just never really got to date one. Um, again, I don't know why I tend to attract street 
type girls. And that's, you know, like I said, I mentioned this incident in high school. And it happens every once in a while now. You know, I'll, I'll run across somebody that I know is interested. But hell, you know, if her arms are all tattooed up and, you know, I kind of see what she hangs around and she probably got a bunch of kids. And she probably can't pay her bills. I mean, come on. Why would I want to deal with that? I mean, I'm sufficient. I pay my own bills. I, I would rather deal with somebody who's able to pay their own bills. But that's just me. I, I don't see myself as being desperate in need of a female. I definitely would like one, though. But it's not like, you know, I don't know. Uh, and again, I said it before, I say it again. These guys, like Elliot Roger, he would not have went on his rampage if he had somebody to talk with on the phone. Somebody to kind of hang out with. It wasn't all sex we keep saying sex it's not all sex is being able to communicate with a female that makes guys feel good yeah the sex is something too but i just know being part of it being there that that makes a big difference and elliot like a number of incels feel isolated 